Hey guys, it's Christine. Well, I guess this makes this book club episode seven. Can you believe it? Seven. Seven episodes of the books. Crazy. I know I just did a book club like five seconds ago. It seems like I just uploaded it, but I actually did that like, I don't know, weeks ago. I was busy doing campy tames in between. If you haven't seen that, check it out. I just got my Brie Tanner book, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner. I went to Barnes & Noble to pick that up. And I'm going to read it soon, so I'm going to refer back. I'm making this also to tell you that I know I, everyone on my channel likes books. So I made a separate channel for book talk. So if you like these, go subscribe to it because I'm gonna stop putting these up on my Pull Bananas 20 channel now. So this channel is called Pull Bananas Books. We're still gonna be making videos and parodies and stuff. Olivia's still doing her funny vlog thingies. They'll still be on Pull Bananas 20. Only the books. They're moving to Pull Bananas Books. It's pretty easy to remember. Just made it. So go check it out. Subscribe. Comment. Add us as friends. So I'll put a link and go subscribe to it, please, if you like these books. So thank you. Ooh, Stephanie Meyer, new book. Yeah, so I'll see you later. Look how skinny this is. Look how skinny this is. I just finished Brie Tanner five minutes ago. I feel really bad for this girl. It's poor, poor, poor Brie. Seriously. Sad. We knew what was gonna happen to her, but like, after you find out like what you went through, when I was reading Eclipse, let's see Eclipse. Oh joy! I just knocked down that whole big pile of books I usually have. Great. It's gonna be fun to clean up. Um, great. Okay. I was reading Eclipse. I was like, why didn't you kill that newborn? God, it's so annoying. She could easily just attack Bella. Just gonna have spoilers because I can't really talk about it much without spoiling it. Look how thin it is. I mean, you know what happens, but this is a different point of view, so you really don't know what she's thinking. So I read it, then I watch this. So the Eclipse movie is coming out soon, and I'm really glad we got this before the movie comes out. The girl playing her name is Jodell something. Yeah, she's got long brown hair and stuff. And this, I think she's supposed to have like red hair. That's how Bella describes her. She's like 15, 16. She's living in this house full of vampires, like the 20 of them, and they've been told by Riley, who now I really think is a jerk, well he told them that vampires aren't allowed to go out in the sunlight or they'll burn to ashes, like normal vampires do. Well, not the vampire dies, vampires, because they have their rings, but these vampires, so they just sparkle when they go out. But they don't know that. So at night they go hunting in groups, and a lot of the newborns are just like, oh my god, I'm like Spider man I can just do anything I want. Like that Kevin guy with his like throwing cars on top of each other just to be like, oh look, I'm so cool, like Spider-Man, like, jerk. We see what it's like to live like a real vampire. A real vampire, like, not like the Cullens, is what I'm saying. Her friend Diego, how nice was Diego? Diego has this underground cave, they stay in it for the day so they don't burn to ashes, and while they're there, Diego, he's like 11 months old, and she's only 3 months old, like, she's a really newborn, but she's like, yeah, I'm almost 3 months old. When she said that, we were like, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, she's like so proud of it because I guess everyone around her is so young that it's just three months is old. My hair's a mess. Sorry. Oh, do you like Diego? He's 11 months old, so he's more controlled, and he's like one of the only vampires that think. It's so weird. The newborns, like, we're so used to the Cullens, and they're always like talking to each other. Like, so they're so sophisticated. And then these newborns, if you talk to someone, you get in an argument, and then you end up ripping their arm off. And she talks about getting her limbs ripped off. Riley rips off people's limbs to punish them because it hurts, and then they glue it back on by like, they lick it with venom, and then they put it back on, and it sticks back on. How weird is that? I can't even talk to each other without being violent. It does not sound fun at all. At all. Nope. Uh-uh. How sad was it when we found out that he's been changing kids that are troubled? She ran away from home because her dad was abusive and she was like starving on the streets. And Riley was like, oh, kid, do you want a burger? And she ended up being changed by Victoria. Hate that lady. So they're in the cave and they start talking about how he can't go out in sunlight. Diego's talking about how he's actually felt like indirect sun and it hasn't done anything to him and Bree is seriously like freaked out because he's like we have to experiment with this I just thought it was so dumb like how do you not know that you can't go in sunlight you just sparkle <laughs> he digs a hole in his little cave until like a beam of sunlight comes down and they're so fascinated like, they put their hand through it and they're like oh I'm sparkling this is like the first friend she's found since she became a vampire and they're cute together and they're like make this BFFs club do you like that and then they change it to be a like, ninja club Freaky Fred. First, I didn't really understand. I was like, I thought they were saying that he like melts or something. But Freaky Fred had a talent and his ability was to be able to repel people. Can't look directly at him because they're like disgusted or they feel nauseous. He's actually like a cute kid, but 
they're like, oh god, Brie, Brie is so disgusting. And Brie, because she's smart, she doesn't want to get into arguments and be killed by the newborns, she like, hides behind them. Since no one wants to go near Fred, no one comes near Brie. So no one bothers her. Basically, Fred has the ability to like, make himself invisible. And like Bella, he can expand her shield, so someone else's shield too. He can expand his power, so Brie can be sitting next to him, and no one can see them. Because anytime you look over there, it's like... They're disgusting, you know? Do you think that was a cool ability? I think that was really creative by Stephanie. It's not like they're just invisible, like the normal things. Pretty creative. Good ideas. Stephanie Meyer. Brie and Diego kiss a few times, so that would have been going down like a romantic path, which sucks for Brie because uh, Diego gets killed. We were upset when Diego got killed. Like, you start to care about Diego a lot, and then after 100 pages, he's like taken out. And it was sad. The battle scene. So they're told that these yellow eyes, like, it's so funny to see how they look at the colors. These yellow eyes want to take over Seattle, so they have to attack them, so they have all the blood to themselves. And, oh, when they first all went out into the sunlight, because they've been told that they can't be out in the sunlight, they all come home before then. Riley tells them that there's four days in the year where there's such indirect sunlight that it doesn't hurt you, and that you go out in it, and since he's been branding this into their brains for such a long time that the sun will burn them to ashes, they, one by one, he like opens the door and goes out there and they're like, <gasps> like he's all sparkly. I thought that was funny scene. Did you just think that was funny? I was just like, oh my god, they're so dumb. They look at Riley, is so old and stuff. And then you go to the Cullen's point of view and he's a newborn. He's like, maybe a year at most. They think that there's no one else except for them in the beginning. Like, he's like, yeah, Riley told us we're like gods. No one can do anything to us because we're so awesome. Brie hangs back with Fred and finds out that Fred is going to take off um, and go to Vancouver. He'll wait 24 hours for, um, because Brie wants to go get Diego. She thinks that he's meeting with them at the battle scene, but really he's dead. And it's so sad because obviously Brie never got to go off with Fred and he's there all by himself. I wonder if we ever will see him and like if Stephanie ever writes another book. And if we'll ever get Midnight Sun, which is awesome. I don't know if you read it, but if you feel bad reading it because it was leaked. But Stephanie Meyer put it up on her site. And let me tell you something. A lot of people aren't excited about Midnight Sun because they're like, oh, we already read Twilight and stuff like that. Midnight Sun was freaking awesome. Those 270-something pages that I read were like, oh my god, I love reading from Edward's point of view. It is so cool. And Stephanie Meyer, you better finish it. <laughs> love you but seriously can you please get on that because you said you'd give it to us and just because some people put it up on the internet I know it was devastating but like it's been how long that was 2008 two years please please finish and thank you okay from the whole the Cullens um Brie surrenders to them and stuff she's like what are these Volturi they're talking about because they she saw the black cloak people going to Victoria's little cabin a little gingerbread cabin wasn't that weird it was like pink and stuff okay anyway so Brie's captured by the Cullens they're her first impressions of them were just funny to see she was like I couldn't even that one was moving so fast when she was fighting when they were fighting I couldn't even tell if it was a boy or a girl it's like obviously Alice and she's like I heard they have a mind reader and that redhead must be the mind reader and it's just so funny they call Edward a redhead because you never think of him like that because Bella always describes him as having like bronze hair and stuff, but like a redhead I thought that was funny. She really, really wanted to try and learn all the rules and stuff, and it's just sad that she just got killed. And she's telling Edward what really happened in her mind as Jane is there, all the Volturi are like questioning them. You really feel bad for her because she's just sitting so nice. Like, finds out that Edward had killed Victoria and Riley, and she's like, Oh my god, thank you, I love this guy. And she looks at Bella like she like, can't understand it because she's a newborn and she doesn't have the control that Bella has as a newborn, obviously, because. She's like her throat's on fire and she doesn't understand at all how they could possibly tolerate this human standing with them. And we just, we know the Cullens and it's just so easy for them. We never really think about that. And you see it from her point of view. She's falling at the ground because she needs something to hold on to so she won't leap over there against her will. She can't think about anything else. Wasn't that interesting to find out? I thought it was really interesting. So I think this book is going to be online for free to read. I'm thinking the 7th. That's when I originally thought it was coming out, but I think that's when Stephanie's going to release it online for people to read. So what did you find fascinating about this book? Did you find it fascinating? I really I liked it. It goes along with her clips very nicely. It's so funny how Jasper had covered her eyes and her ears so she can't see the werewolves. She was in the group, I guess, that wasn't with the werewolves, and she hears the howling and stuff. And she's like, howling vampires must have destroyed the other newborns. And... They're not howling vampires, they're werewolves. So she never finds out. I know the whole story now, it's just so nice. So yeah, go get this, because some of it goes to charity, and look, look, ooh, like, I just having these, they're just so nice, right? Um, and now, okay guys, remember, this is my last book club that I'm going to be putting up on my Columbus and channel. 
because I made a new channel for book clubs because I know some people don't like books that subscribe to me and I don't want this to be really annoying. So this channel will be for like parodies and Olivia's vlogs and like all other stuff, random stuff that I do. Book clubs will be on Poland Bananas Books. So go subscribe to it if you like these because I love doing them and I love being able to talk about books and people that care about books. So if you want to follow me on Twitter, xteammay. If you want to follow, follow Olivia, it's teddybear1193. Yeah, join our Facebook, facebook.com slash cmrproductions with a C at the end. And yeah, I have all different kinds of links. They're going to be in the bottom bar. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'll do the whole soon. I know. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it definitely now because now nothing is coming out until June 22nd when, guess what's coming out then? Alison Noel's new book, Dark Flame, the next one in the Immortal series, which I am going to tackle after I do the host. You're awesome. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah.